Do you have trouble losing weight? Or would you like to lose weight faster? You've come to the right place. Weight reduction should not have to be painful or difficult. What you've got to do is develop easy routines to see the weight come off. It's impossible to target belly fat, especially when you diet, but losing weight overall will help shrink your waistline. More importantly, it'll help reduce the dangerous layer of visceral fat, a type of fat within the abdominal cavity that you can see but that heightens health risks. So in this video, we're gonna tell you 10 simple ways to lose weight naturally. The video is gonna be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Healthy People Movement to never miss out on any of our videos. It's gonna be a journey, it's not a sprint to get in shape. Carrie Walsh Jennings a famous quote holds true to the core when the question is about getting fit and staying in shape, obesity, being overweight, and weight loss programs are turning out to be the new normal. Staying fit and healthy is not just a requirement, but a way to a satisfying life. And while there are a lot of ways to lose weight, a healthy weight loss is what is crucial. In these modern times where people are frequently prone to diseases and lead a compromised quality of life, getting a grip on lifestyle patterns is the need of the hour. Number 10. Avoid walking by food. If you're at a party, load up a plate with food and snacks, preferably lots of fruits and veggies, and walk away. This prevents overeating as you stand there chatting with your cousin Maggie and eating your weight in spinach dip. Ask me how I know this. The same goes for the office. If there are donuts in one of the break rooms, go to another break room to get coffee or fill up your water bottle. The less you are exposed to tempting foods, the less you have to resist eating them. Number 9. Say no to salt. Too much sodium in the bloodstream can increase water retention in blood vessels and increase blood pressure. Over time, high blood pressure puts a greater strain on the heart and can contribute to plaque building up that blocks blood flow. Additionally, a high sodium diet can also lead to bloating, puffiness, and weight gain. Passing on the salt shaker is a good start, but reducing sodium takes a bit more effort and attention. Check the labels on the foods you buy at the store. They are required by law to include the amount of sodium in the product. Likewise, request no added salt when ordering at a restaurant. More than 75% of sodium intake comes from the processed pre-packaged and restaurant foods. Just as daunting, the American Heart Association recommends no more than 2300 milligrams of sodium a day, which is approximately the size of a teaspoon of salt. Still, it's worth the work. Cutting down on salt can reduce the risk of high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, osteoporosis, stomach cancer, kidney disease, kidney stones, enlarged heart, headaches, puffiness, bloating, and weight gain. Number 8. Drink tea, not water. Standard advice when you're losing weight is to drink 8 glasses of water a day. Water's great, don't get me wrong, but 8 glasses a day is a chore unless it's hot and you're driven by natural thirst. Tea, on the other hand, is easy to sip all day long. Make a thermos of black, green, or herb tea, whichever you like. All have health benefits and keep it on your desk so you can refill all day long. Experts used to say tea didn't count towards your daily water intake, but that's no longer considered true. And tea does double duty since the antioxidants in tea, particularly green tea, have been shown to have weight loss benefits on their own. And they help protect against cancer too. As with all weight loss advice, take what you like and leave the rest. No weight loss strategy works if you find it unpleasant, because if you don't like doing it, you won't keep it for long. So if you like the taste of tea, that trick's going to work well for you. If seeing your muscles firm up motivates you, you'll likely stick with strength training, and most people aren't going to have many problems with the snacking suggestion. Number 7. Keep moving. Physical activity helps burn abdominal fat. One of the biggest benefits of exercise is that you get a lot of bang for your buck on body composition. Stewart says, exercise seems to work off belly fat in particular because it reduces circulating levels of insulin, which would otherwise signal the body to hang on to fat and causes the liver to use up fatty acids, especially those nearby visceral fat deposits, he says. The amount of exercise you need for weight loss depends on your goals. For most people, this can mean 30 to 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise nearly every day. Number 6. Sleep more. Sleep is an important factor in managing weight. A sound sleep between 7 and 9 hours each night keeps the mind fresh and relaxed, and the body does not feel exhausted. We have the unfortunate tendency in this culture to associate sleep with being sluggish. Not so. We now know that sleeping revs up the metabolism, so the longer you sleep, the more fat you burn. Sleep also regulates hormones that control appetite and energy production. When you skip sleep, your body produces more ghrelin, which triggers cravings and less leptin, which makes you feel full and satisfied with your food intake. If those aren't reason enough to prioritize your 8 hours a night, there's longevity too. Number 5. Drink lemon and honey water every morning. Right after you wake up every morning, drink a cup of honey and lemon in hot water. It's not much effort, but a very, very effective method that helps in weight management. Warm a lemon honey drink increases metabolism. Drinking glass on an empty stomach gets you in a fat burning mode right from the beginning of your day. Number 4. Make healthy convenient. Wash and cut up your fruits and veggies and store them in a clear container at your eye level in the refrigerator. 
That way, they're the first thing you see when you open the fridge to look for a snack. In addition, keep hummus, yogurt, and peanut butter stock. They go well with a mix of fruits and veggies and will keep you full. Making healthy convenient is another step closer to help you lose weight naturally. Number 3. Try curbing carbs instead of fats. When John Hopkins researchers compared the effects on the heart of losing weight through a low-carbohydrate diet versus a low-fat diet for six months, each containing the same amount of calories, those on a low-carb diet lost an average of 10 pounds more than those on a low-fat diet, 28.9 pounds versus 18.7 pounds. An extra benefit of the low-carb diet is that it produced a higher quality of weight loss, Stewart says. With weight loss, fat is reduced, but there is also often a loss of lean tissue muscle, which is not desirable. On both diets, there was a loss of about 2-3 to three pounds of good lean tissue along with the fat, which means that the fat loss percentage was much higher on the low-carb diet. Number 2. Give up on junk You're continuously wondering how to lose weight fast, but you cannot stop binge eating all that junk. Eliminating junk food can significantly reduce the amount of calories you consume each day. Even though it might seem like a convenient food choice, there are multiple reasons why you need to cut back especially if you're looking to lose weight. Junk food has no nutritional value and does more harm than good. Considering how tempting it is, follow a gradual process of quitting. If you still crave, then try to make them at home with low-calorie ingredients. Number 1. Stop feeding before screen or television According to the U.S. Journal of Clinical Nutrition, food commercials, especially junk food advertising, are growing our appetite and overflowing. Furthermore, we don't pay attention to our diet while we feed on our laptops or telev. We don't know how much we've eaten, hence, you should choose to eat before a mirror instead. You might think that it's insane, but scientific evidence ensures that feeding while looking in the mirror reduces to one-third the amount of food you consume. Did you ever know it's easier to eat alone than to eat with a friend group? It has been shown that people eat more at the party, you're spending more time at the table, and how much you eat when you're talking cannot be managed. It does not mean that you can't eat alone all the time, but you should just attempt to get your portion to the table if you eat. There are many ways to lose weight via therapies and drugs such as the use of anti-obesity drugs, yet a healthy and natural weight loss is the best safe and preferred means to lose weight as it's a sustained weight loss. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthy People Movement. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.